Hello, I am Bhaskar from 4G Mat. Today we are going to look at a problem solving question. This question is from the topic polynomials. Right? It is a part of our Q51 series. We will quickly look at the question. Uh, the question reads as follows. If x is a positive integer such that x minus 1 into x minus 3 into x minus 5 all the way up to x minus 93 is less than 0, how many values can x take? So, this is what the question is. Uh, before I delve into the question, I just want to take a sneak peek at the answer choices. The numbers given are something like 47, 23. So, it is quite evident that the answer that the number of values that x can take is a finite set. It is not a large number. It is actually something which is a very, very meaningfully small number. Right. Now, let us before we get into the question, couple of things let us iron out at the question stem level and then move on further. Right. We will start with how many terms are there. Right starting with x minus 1 and we are going all the way up to x minus 93. See x minus 1, all of these things x minus 1, 3, 5, 7 are all odd numbers. So, if I look at it, it is quite evident that the first term this 1, I can think of it as 2 minus 1. It is a first even number minus 1. The 3, I can think of it as 4 minus 1. So, it is a second even number minus 1. 5 is actually 6 minus 1, which is the third even number minus 1. So, we proceed on the same lines. The last number, this 93, is actually going to be 94 minus 1. 94 is the 47th even number. So, how many terms are there in the series? There are a total of 47 terms in this series. So, this is the first idea that we are going to capture as far as this question goes. Right. The second thing, which is again a very important thing, we want the product of all of these 47 numbers, x minus 1 into x minus 3 into x minus 5, all the way to x minus 93, to be negative. Like couple of things about product of numbers. Product of two or product of two negative numbers will be a positive number. Product of three negative numbers will be a ne negative number. Product of four negative numbers will be a positive number. So very quickly, if I have even number of negative numbers and I multiply them, the result is going to be a positive number. If I have an odd number of negative numbers and I multiply them, basically my result is going to be a positive number right so even number of negative numbers multiplied the result is positive odd number of negative numbers multiplied the result is going to be negative so these are the two things you have captured at the question stem level look into how we can take it further let's narrow down the range the first one is what type of a number is x the question stem adequately provides a lot of information for it it says that x is a positive integer if x is a positive integer then basically we just need to look at numbers starting from 1 all the way up to infinity 1, 2, 3, 4 those kind of numbers. We need not worry about 0 negative numbers or non-integers. Right. The second thing, so this has given us one dimension to how to reduce the range. Right. Let us quickly using this look at what values x cannot take. Right. See we have x minus 1 into x minus 3 into x minus 5 all the way up to x minus 93 this product should be negative. We will quickly check out what values of x will make each of these terms a positive one. If all of these 47 terms are positive, then there is no way that the final product is going to be negative. Right? So, let us check out for what value will that happen. Just randomly plug in some number. Let me plug in something like 100. When x is equal to 100, x minus 1, x minus 3, up to x minus 93, all of these numbers are going to be positive numbers. If all of these numbers are positive, the final product is going to be positive. So, can x be 100 or more than 100? x definitely cannot take any value which is 100 or greater than 100. Now, is it 100 or is it some other number? Quite evident, the value that x, the border point, the turning point for us is actually x is equal to 94. When x is equal to 94, each one of these 47 terms is going to be positive. So, the final product is going to be positive. Now, so when x takes values which are greater than or equal to 94, the result is going to be positive. So, none of these values are going to be our answer. So, our range right now is basically reduced to positive integers, right, positive integers from 1 all the way up to 93. So, we have brought down the range from 1 to 93, right. So, this is the first step. Let us fine tune it further. Let us look at what we have. See, let us look at plug in some values. I will start with some odd value for x. Let us take x is equal to 1. When I take x is equal to 1, 
x minus 1 is going to be equal to 0. If one of these 47 numbers is 0, the final product is going to be 0, which means it's not going to be negative, which means I can eliminate the possibility of x being equal to 1. It's not just 1. Any value that x takes, which is an odd number from 1 to 93, one of these terms is always going to turn out to be 0, which means the final product is going to be 0. In this case, it will be x minus 3. So, final product will be 0. So, can x be 1? Can x be 3? Can x be 5? x cannot take any odd value. So, we can immediately say odd values from 1 to 93 have all been eliminated. We have eliminated odd numbers from 1 to 93. So, our set is actually now narrowed down to even numbers from 2 to 92. So, these are the numbers that we need to bother about. How many values do we have? We have actually 46 values. So, from the set of positive integers, we have reduced it to a set of 46 even numbers starting from 2 all the way to 92. We just need to figure out if all of these values, all these even values will return an answer which is going to be negative or only some of them are going to do this. Right? What happens if x is even? It's quite evident if x is even, none of these numbers, if x is even and x lies between 2 and 92, the final result is not going to be equal to 0. It might be positive, it might be negative. Let's check out is it positive or is it negative. I am going to plug in some values. As I said, I will start with x is equal to 2. When x is equal to 2, the first term 2 minus 1, I am going to write down how many of these numbers are positive, how many of these terms are going to be negative and then let's see what is the final result. Right? Then final result, we will write it here. Is it positive or is it negative? And then we will say whether this value works or this value does not work. I will put a tick mark where it works and an x mark where it does not. When x is equal to 2, x minus 1 will be the only term which is going to be positive. x minus 1 is positive. There are a total of 47 terms. So, the remaining terms 2 minus 3 will be negative, 2 minus 5 will be negative. How many numbers are there? 46 terms are going to be negative. Product of even number of negative terms will be positive. So, the result of the product of 46 negative numbers will be positive. Multiplied with one positive number, the net result is going to be a positive number. Will x is equal to 2 work? Will it be a term which will satisfy? Will that be a value which will satisfy this condition? No, it is not going to satisfy. The next number I am going to try is x is equal to 4. When x is equal to 4, there will be two numbers which are going to be positive. x minus 1 is positive. x minus 3 is also positive. How many numbers are left? We are left with 45 more numbers. For these 45 numbers, x minus those values, whatever, 4 minus those values will always be negative. Odd number of negative numbers, the product is going to be negative. So, the final answer is going to be a negative value. Will x is equal to 4 work? Yes, it definitely will work. Take a look at what happens when x is equal to 6. When x is equal to 6, 6 minus 1, positive. 6 minus 3, positive. 6 minus 5, positive. So, 3 numbers which are positive out of a total of 47. So, remaining 44 will be negative. 44 negative numbers, the product will be positive. Net final value is positive. Will this work? This is not going to work. One more value. x is equal to 8. x is equal to 8. 8 minus 1 is positive. 8 minus 3 is positive. 8 minus 5 is positive. 8 minus 7 is positive. 4 numbers positive. 43 numbers are negative. Odd number of negative numbers final answer is going to be negative. So, will this work? It's going to work. So, what do we have right now? We have values for which values of x for which it will work will basically be x is equal to 4, x is equal to 8, x is equal to 12, all the way up to x is equal to 92. How many such numbers do we have? This is the first multiple of 4, 1 into 4 and this is the 23rd multiple of 4. So, we have a total of 23 numbers which satisfy this condition. If you want additional questions, you could visit our website www.q-51.com, the 4GMAT initiative. If you have any doubts or queries about this question, send an email to us at info at 4GMAT. If you like this question, share it with your friends. Best wishes for your GMAT preparation.